Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bespoke Flooring Solutions. I'm just using these um, discontinued carpet and I've cut them in cube shape. As you can see, they are looking like a cubes or you could say like a box from any angle. So they're more like 3D looking design. And uh, rather than bin them or chucking them away, I just uh, duplicate and copy them, you know, like a footprint, uh, any kind of design. Sometimes I'm actually making a very good um, 3D design out of these. As you can see, I've got loads of cuts everywhere. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use some kind of doormat or um, anything that I can actually think of. And uh, I'll show you all the techniques as well. So as you can see here, I have cut the finishing edge of carpet sample, which were discontinued. And this is a piece of cushion vinyl. So I have already applied adhesive. As you can see, this um, beige color is all adhesive. What I have actually used called F3, F ball with a, with a trowel. So I've applied that. And what is the good thing about round the edges that I'm using this strip of carpet, it has a good woven finish edge. Can you see? There you go. Okay. And it's all along there. It's all along that edge. And then this edge, I will have all the carpet design butted uh, too. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to actually start putting these cubes in onto that piece of vinyl and we'll see how it's going to look like. Okay, as you can see, so if I lift that one, you can see the emptiness of um, this tile. Then what you do when you put a whole one here, it's all up to you what color you should choose. Make sure this run is always one color and then the rest can be two more colors. So to get this kind of cubes looking design or a box, make sure you have three colors. Main line needs to be one color and then the top two needs to be a different colors. And then you'll get this shape of cubes, okay? So you put it in there, you mark here, mark there and then Fold it backwards, mark with your pencil there, mark with your pencil here as an L shape, then you leave it here, cut it like an L shape, and then you'll get that one. And once you cut it in, all you gotta do is press it in and it will look like this. Okay, press it all in. There you go, that one is in. So I'm gonna do the rest and then we'll see all the results. As you can see, it's all coming along. So I've got one, two, three more pieces to put in and then we'll see the end result. Okay, it's almost completed. So I've just got to cut the edges and then I'm gonna display the final look of this Cubes 3D design. So now you can see this is an L-shaped doormat. And uh, so your actual I would say um, copy would be this white piece of vinyl so you cut this first in any shape that you want L shape round shape anything so this cushion vinyl the white color is the important um, template and then you fit any kind of design on the surface of it so make sure you just put everything in and then and if it's extra and sometimes you're finding it hard to cut it from the front just turn it turn the back of the carpet and uh, yeah so once you flip it over you can see all the extra bit and i'm gonna cut them off um, with a knife and then i'm gonna fold it uh, i'm gonna flip it back on the right side of it and you'll see the right result okay so i'm gonna go and cut all the extra bit in a minute 
Okay, as you can see, the thick carpet is not very easy to cut from the front because it's full of fluff. So you just run your knife once, make sure the blade is sharp, a couple of times like that. Doesn't matter if you run it a couple of times. There we go, push it in, make sure it's all in its place. There we go. Saw cut, and then I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, our project is finished. So at the end, just give it a little roll with a roller like that. Make sure everything is getting stuck to the back of the template vinyl. And this will be the finishing. Let's have a look. Okay, wow, it is looking like a cubes and literally look, it's looking like a one, two, three boxes. And this is a very small project. I could make a massive doormat out of this continued carpet and as well as some other 3D looking designs. So uh, let's find out the best place for this. Okay, this is where it belongs. It belongs to the corner of our kitchen. Thank you very much and hoping everyone has find this helpful, has found this helpful and I will do some more video of this kind of design in coming future. Thank you very much everybody. Bye bye.